Hello, YouTube, on today's gaming news. But before we get into that, make sure you are hitting the subscribe button and leaving a little comment down below and hitting like. I will be trying to keep up with these weekly gaming news updates. Let's start off with our favorite MMO updates or live service game updates throne of liberty has had a week of launch by now um it's everything's been going a little bit smooth a couple you know it's an mmo and a live um, service games so these don't go without uh, an issue here and there but throne of liberty has been doing pretty okay about it they had a day one patch they had a couple of days patches to fix up a little bit of issues they've been having with their auction house with um a, a server stability and adding more servers for eu and north america with this comes the early access release and they run into a bit of a pickle and their server transfer is currently closed apparently my good sources tell me my chat um that they ran into a little bit of drama so apparently early access servers players were able to transfer over to the free to play and quotation servers and they were selling stuff on the free to play servers and making a big killing out of that so they then closed the servers off i don't know who was in charge of this and why did they mess this up but welcome to amazon publishing I would imagine that is something that wasn't really tested thoroughly. But again, this is just what I'm hearing. And I'm hearing the, the little, you know, crumbs of this information. Maybe there's more to dig deep. Uh, make sure you're Googling that to find out. But I'm just giving you the word, uh, you know, the word around a town. Um, what else is new? Um, Black Desert release a big patch, a dev talk, uh, not a patch, but a dev talk on what's to come. Uh, the developers just apologize for fumbling, for letting everybody down. And they're trying to fix everything by inc introducing new ways to enhance accessories. Finally, enhancers, uh, enhancing accessories will not downgrade uh, when using crown stones, and they will not break when you fail them now. That is a major W, huge change to the whole BDO enhancement. If I had a little note to leave here is just change the whole enhancement to begin with. Let us let it not be incentivized to use crown stones. Can we just find an, a cheaper alternative, a easier way that is universally accepted? Because even though the Cron Stones isn't too bad for North America, it is horrendous system for all the other areas. EU is trash for, uh, you know, buying Cron Stones and stuff and outfits for EU is bad. South America, let's not even go there. It's just bad system that doesn't really work well globally for free to play players. This is bad. Let's just get rid of the whole Cronstone enhancement thing or do something about it that it is equal across the board. We need to go back to the drawing board for enhancing in BDO. Something needs to change. Uh, what else is in there for live service game? Path of Exile 2. Don't forget that's coming out in about 30 days from this video. Maybe when you see it, what else is up? Diablo 4 just released with a uh, huge day one problems of delays and delays and delays. Classic Blizzard, right? Classic Bl uh, Blizzard not prepared for the launch. Console players are not being able to get in is what I hear is why they held back the, uh, the, uh, the game from launching. So so they delayed it for a while the first descendant is coming out like i don't know if you wouldn't watching this but on october 10th i will be streaming there will be twitch drops and the first descendant holy let me tell you if there is anything koreans know how to do well and that is a beautiful women oh my god the eastern developers korea is cooking ultimate freina is out and or she will be coming out and she is just oh my lord i can't i'm a bust right now um what else is happening in the gaming news and nintendo is releasing a new uh, alarm sound clock alarmo which is like an alarm that they're selling for a hundred dollars if i if i'm not misunderstanding this really weird nintendo's lawsuit against pal world is still currently going on pal world shows no signs of slowing down they're planning to release their mobile version of that uh a new dawn for halo halo studios 
um, used to be 343 Studios, but changed to Halo Studios. I believe this is what they started off as at first, but they're going back. Apparently, they are now testing Halo on the Unreal Engine 5. You know what they need to do that would really kind of save this? A remastered version of Halo 1 Combat Evolve. Wouldn't that be sick if we got updated Unreal 5 engine graphics for Halo Combat Evolved? Dude, I can't wait. Speaking of engine changes, Valorant is also announcing that they will be changing or they have announced that they will be changing their Valorant engine, whatever they're using now, to Unreal 5. Uh, that's pretty sweet news. Maybe that's the first time that I'll play Valorant. I've actually been interested in playing Valorant, so that's really, really good news for me. Uh, Silent Hill 2 release with amazing reviews across the board. Speaking of reviews, so did Diablo 4. Every critic out there is really enjoying Diablo 4. Now, I'm not going to have a personalized video about Diablo 4 and my thoughts on it, so I'll just leave them here. Um, so far, it's okay. Um, I feel like I haven't really devoured the new content yet, so we'll see once I get there. I'm not a huge fan of the Spareborn gameplay. The uh, effects look really nice, but I'm not a fan of the gameplay. Uh, that's just my issue, though. I feel like a lot of people are enjoying it. I'm just not enjoying it much. Um, I think that would be it for our gaming news, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. So what other gaming news? We're going to try to keep this a series and just fill you in with the gaming news. Fill you in. I know you like that. I don't know. Tell me what you think. What gaming news did I leave out of this week? Um, I'll probably put them in next week if it's still relevant. I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye. Hey, YouTube. Yeah, you. YouTube, you know that the success of this channel relies heavily on you viewers like you by hitting the comment like and subscription button you help me really 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 a bunch more than you ever know you could even put it on mute and walk away you know or lower the volume and walk away but all the success of this channel relies on you and i'm very thankful if you hit that comment like and subscription button also follow my social medias twitter my twitter i put out new art and new stuff if you want to see more of this Follow me everywhere, Twitch everywhere, everywhere. I give you my permission, my consent. Go, go. Now, um, hit the follow, comment, like, subscribe, Twitter, Twitch, everything. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching.